Hey guys, it's Melissa, and today I'm going to show you how to make a really easy glitter glue slime recipe. You'll only need two ingredients for this slime, and the first one is going to be the Elmer's glitter glue. Now you can use whatever color that you like. Uh, my favorite is this really bright, vibrant purple color, but they also have pink and blue and a whole bunch of other colors. Uh, and the other thing that you're going to need is liquid starch. You can find that in your uh, laundry aisle at your local grocery store or you can I'll put a link to where I buy mine from so anyway you're gonna need about one fourth of cup of liquid starch so just slowly pour that into your glue uh, the Elmer's glue that's all you're gonna need are those two ingredients so just slowly mix that in and stir um, very good in between the times that you pour the liquid starch in so you'll notice right away that this glue is going to get um, sticky, but keep pouring slowly. Don't get tempted to pour it all in at once, or I promise you it will become um, a big hard mess and that'll break apart and it won't be slime consistency. So, so I just go ahead and, and pour that in slowly and keep stirring until you can't stir it anymore. And see, you can already see that it's starting to form uh, a nice big slime ball. And I really love this purple. Now the liquid starch is gonna um, make it lose a little bit of its color. So you can always add in more food coloring or glitter uh, to make it a deeper purple. But um, for this one, I'm just gonna use the glue. So now it started to form, but it's still pretty sticky. Um, so you can see it's kind of sticking to my hands. So at this point, I kind of like to take it out of the bowl and knead it in my hands. Um, kneading it together really helps that liquid starch stick to that glue. I know that it's tempting to, to keep wanting to pour in the, the starch, but this is very important to knead first. You can always add in starch like I'm doing now um, and knead it in, but you really want to play with the slime because the more that you play with it and the more that you squeeze and pull that slime, the better consistency of slime you're going to get. And I promise you, eventually it's not going to stick to your hands like it is to mine right now. Okay, so now I've put it back into the bowl because it's a little bit easier to add that liquid starch. And I'm just going to keep on kneading it. And so you can already see that it's not really sticking to my hand. And I did not use the whole one fourth of a cup. Um, it just really depends on what kind of consistency of slime that you want. I like mine to be a little bit firmer, but some people like their slime a little bit runnier. So you just pour in the amount of starch that you like. And so if it kind of sticks to your hands, I like to take that slime and just kind of, you just can kind of press it around on your hands and it'll it'll pick that glue up that's stuck to your fingers. But see now it's become a very great squishy consistency. It's still kind of sticky a little bit, but I'm just gonna kind of knead it a little bit more. Because again, if you add too much starch, I promise you it'll ruin it. Oh, look at those swirls. Oh, it's so pretty and see I didn't add anything to it just the glue that came in the bottle so even with that it's a beautiful color and very glittery you can see all that glitter inside of the glue and this slime actually feels really really good the texture is great it's great for poking and pulling and making those great popping noises. I'm really, really impressed with how this slime turned out. I mean, this it couldn't get more easier than the two ingredients. It's not sticky at all. I think next time I'm going to try and add in some food coloring and maybe some additional glitter just to kind of get give it a little more vibrant color but even if you didn't want to do that it's still beautiful so 
So thank you guys so much for always watching my videos. Um, I hope that you will hit that like button because that helps me to make more videos. And I also hope that you guys subscribe. Um, and be sure to, when you subscribe, hit the notification button so that you can get the notifications for when I post a new video. I'm going to try to start posting a couple of videos at least a week. And coming up very soon, I'm going to be having a slime giveaway. So be sure to look for that. And I love talking to you guys. I love hearing all the comments and the suggestions. So make sure that you keep those coming. I really do read all of them. And I'd love to hear what kind of slime you'd like to hear to see me make next. So again, I hope you guys have a slime-tastic day, and thanks so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.